Hello trainers, what's going on? My name is Nick, I'm with my buddy Rothcast. Hey now. How you doing? This is wide angle, so you should be able to see you pretty uh, good. I don't have to, have to look at your boobs? No, not really. Right. And we're doing a, uh, well, I guess I'm doing a prototype episode of a show called Poke Across America, and we're just doing a, oh Jesus. I forgot that that's still on. Poke Across America, it doesn't sound like it should be like Yeah, this. yeah, I know it's not. It's fun, but it's not. This is a, this is, this is a prototype episode. Just of our like uh, one of one a town pretty close to us because it's easy. Oh, dude! Oh my God! There is a jiggly over there in the center. We can, we can get it from here. Oh yeah, I can. Get, I'm going waiting. after him right now. What's he up, wants Jiggles? Us to help out, help him across the street. He's playing jiggler. It's like Bang! Frogger only. I got a grade on him. I hit him right in his little curly cue. <laughs> Fucked up his haircut. I got a noise. He was green. I got. I, I didn't see his he was yellow for me. Oh, orange yeah, I got, actually. I got myself a little. Wuss, I got him with wuss, one. Uh, jiggly puss. So sorry if there's a lot of traffic sound, but you know, that's the essence of this game. We are in Billerica Center, which has a couple decent spots to grab. That's what? That's not going to happen someday, though. <laughs> someday I'm going to be big and strong just like you, and I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to take on that Lapras. Their, their, their lowest player, yeah. their lowest player is 1,149. That's, that's pretty low, actually. This is this is my my current my current top tier. Oh, Pokemon Pokemon Jigglypuff. I don't know what that means. What does that I mean? Jigglypuff. What? What are you? Oh, well, we're red. I was gonna say this is my current top tier. This is like the the hard, the strongest ones I have at the moment. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. And how do you make them strong? <laughs> By making them evolve? Um. Well, the higher your level is, yeah. the stronger they'll be right when you catch them. Do you know which one you got? So, like, if you're if. So for him, he just keeps on catching. Yeah. Well, every single time he catches something, he gets. Expected to, like I heard there's some red gins someplace here. He should be Jim. Jim? Jim? Jim. Jim. Jim's. So it's, it's <laughs> really, really. I was um, the same way. Um, so Do you mind if I put this on a YouTube video? We're actually recording like an episode for YouTube. Oh, that's so cool. cool. I, can, I, can cut it, I can cut it out. That's no, fine. No, but. Him. <laughs> uh, no, it's fine. No, you do, we can do that. Okay. Um, so he, uh, just call me a... Okay. No, you have... Uh, two. Anyways, I'm Mumsy. Do I tell you who I am? No, uh, Sure. I'm Mumsy, we're not, Mumsy 1970. Mumsy 1970? I'm, I'm Peter Den 17, but I like these nerds. Are you blue? We're, we're yellow. yellow. You're both, yeah. All the no, kids... why did you pick? Why did um, you pick? I, it just seems to be a natural thing. I feel like we're 30. <laughs> and it seems like everyone who's old in town picked red. All the kids picked yellow. And it's it's an all-out war. Like, when the game the first... The name sounded fun, but yeah. then when we saw red, I'm like... He's a fire type. I mean, he's red. I'm like, oh, yeah. he should when, uh, when the games first came out, it, it was yellow, blue, and red. Yeah. And we picked, uh, oh, like, I had the red game, personally. Yeah. So that's why I picked blue. Yeah. I think the teenagers picked blue, from what I've seen, too. So it's so I, it seems like an age differential for some reason. Yeah. And, um, but he's not expected to win anything yet. You have no. We're not crossing the street. And that's nothing. i got to get to it anyway. It's just not good. What level is your uh, trainer? Five. Yeah, you gotta just keep going with uh, catching yeah, stuff. Ago, so. If you have a lucky egg, don't use it until you gotta evolve a bunch of stuff. Save like, I haven't even done it yet, but save like 30. So save 30 things that you want to evolve at once. At least 30 things, and then use the egg. Well, it, and just start evolving them. everything. Because you'll get double XP it's, and you'll level up faster. Just go on to like Reddit, they'll give you all the tips and tricks. Reddit, Reddit. Reddit, Reddit. yep. Okay. Alright, we're gonna start okay, going on with this episode. Guys. Have a good one. Let's go over the crosswalk. Do, do. So yes, I guess I'll go back to saying what I was saying. We're in uh, Barricka Center, and uh, we're just prototyping an episode of this. James is actually going to start experimenting with uh, streaming this stuff. Indeed, indeed, indeed. I'm getting a tablet that's going to stream directly to Twitch. Actually, here we can go. That's one of the only things you'll ever see me run for. Look at this big fat Lapras over Pokemon here. And pussy are the only two things I leave the house for anymore. Right over there. And pussy's gone. Because there's now there's just Pokemons. Um, this Lapras, he is so fat. 1750 Dude, someday, Lapras. Someday? Uh, we can take him. We can take that gym down, actually. Someday I'm going to fight that Lapras. If we, uh, if we get everyone else, we can take it down. Because if you don't know, you can actually like quadruple and quintuple team, team gyms. Oh, there's a Tauros nearby. Tauros nearby. I would totally hunt him down, except that 
Niantic at this time has actually disabled, we think they've disabled the, uh, the, 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 step, the step pause thing, the, uh, you know, tr the tracking system because it's too much load on the system. So the, the idea I had for this series is that we were actually going to talk about the historical landmarks and stuff. Truth is, I don't really know much. It's Berica's first meeting house. I don't know. Berica named for the town of Essex County. Wait, I thought we were in Middlesex County. We're definitely in Middlesex. We're in Middlesex County. County. This thing is wrong. <laughs> Berica doesn't even know what county it's in. Come on, guys. Berica's first meeting house. Early town was a community of subsistence farmers, most of whom also practiced a special craft, witchcraft. Now, actually, I remember being told that this house right here is a place that, uh, what's his face? George Washington stayed one night during the Revolutionary War, passing through to Lexington. Hey, let's grab this uh, stop over here. We can get it from the edge. <laughs> I don't know, you were talking about pussy. Uh, <laughs> Dude, Nick Dome made a serious mistake. What's that? Alright, so he got me in on the Dragon Ball GT podcast. I think I've been telling you about that a little bit, right? Uh, Something. maybe. Alright, so what about he's been asking me to do it with him, and I didn't really want to do it at first, because I didn't watch Dragon Ball. Yeah. And then he was just like, come on, man. I did have a good time. It was all right. But here's how we drop the ball. Before the podcast gets started, he goes, like, literally, literally, a second before it starts. Oh, by the way, James, there's no swearing. I go, ah, fuck that shit. <laughs> there's no swearing. Yeah, he's like, well, it's going to be on, like, iTunes and stuff, so. What does that matter? I, he said, like, if you choose what different category. I'm like, you know what, dude? You're going to get more hits and more money on my YouTube than this thing you'll ever get. Hey! Got a little rat on your iTunes. <laughs> and I mean, the no, the number one podcast in the country is Mark Marin, and the name of that podcast is What the Fuck. There you go. So, like, I'm not really sure what you're talking about. A podcast about Dragon Ball. So, so viewers, by the way, when you get to level 20, which I currently am, ratatas are like impossible to catch. Everything becomes impossible to catch, which is something that they really need to fix. I shouldn't have to use a great ball and a raspberry to catch a rattata that's like CP 200. That's ridiculous. They're like punishing me for being a high level. It, it doesn't really make sense They're to me. trying to get you to put more quarters in the machine. Yeah, I'm not going to put more quarters in the machine, I, though. I put more quarters in the machine. I put some in, but I, for, for, for lures, um, because I like to, you know, get drunk and catch Pokemon, so I bought lures so that we can sit down. When you go for drinking there's a, we found one very nice spot, you know, in Lowell where the movie theater is, that cross, that cross Point Towers. There's a tavern in the square there now, and that tavern in the square has a stop in it. It's just always there. It's just always there. I was asking, you know, it's like a bunch, that place is like a hunting ground for getting laid. You know, it's just like a bunch of animals in there all the no time. And uh, I went in, when we were in there, I was asking the server. I was like, you see a lot more nerds come in here lately? And he started dying laughing. He was like, you're here for Pokemon, aren't you? <laughs> Yep, Everyone of course I am. Get real. Oh, shit, that was good. Another pidge. I oh, saw it. Another pidge. Pidgeys are the best thing for for leveling up. Yeah, dude. Well, and, and weedles. Yeah, pidgeys and weedles. That, that's how you level up. Oh yeah. There's a bunch of savage dads involved there. See, they barely even they didn't even like notice the rig. I was like, they're, you're on camera, and they're like, whoa, what? How you doing? Masonic Temple. Yeah. Like, you know, something like this happens in the Like, nothing is so stupid, I can't Yeah. For the first time ever? They're outnumbered. That crowd really is yeah. a minority. Yeah. They really are. The other day, I was walking by here. And Julie drove by, and she's beeping, waving at us, and she's playing Pokemon too. And then we're like, ah, it's awesome that she's playing Pokemon. And not less than 30 seconds after that, some other, they're all like kids though, some teenagers drove by. And they were like, Pokemon sucks! 
And, was, and then in that moment, I had a fantasy that while they were looking out the window screaming Pokemon sucks, that they would get into a head-on collision, shoot out of the windshield, right? And then we would start catching Pidgeys on their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a little much? All right, let's go uh, around back. You know, the Eevees always pop over there. They do. Yeah, they do. They pop, pop in the Walgreens. If you're in this area and you see an Eevee pop, which we do have, she's in the first slot, they generally actually show up in the Walgreens parking lot over there for some reason. Bro, you know what I just got? An egg? What? Uh, Ugh, Barica. 300, Center Cafe over there. Bulbasaur in an egg today. Well, that's not bad. I'm pretty sure that means it'll be able to break a thousand with the proper evolution. I don't know. I don't know if I'm calculating that right. I don't know. I've been watching. Like, I'm learning a lot by watching well, the stream. Well, they all, all the evolutions have multipliers on them. Are you different know. Pokemon's different multipliers? Yeah. Like, for instance, like a Magikarp that's like 120 or something oh, like that. Now you're talking about something that only has one evolution. I know. But I'm just saying, like, for instance, like a Magikarp that's got like 120, he evolves to like 1,700. Uh, right. How you doing? You know the difference between uh, one and two. I feel like you gotta say hi to people while you're wearing a camera or else uh, you're a real freak. We're crossing here. So far, everyone you've said hi to has not said hello to you and they looked at you like you were somewhere. Well, yeah, most people are fucking assholes, so there's that that you gotta deal with. Thank you. Hey, Nick, you know, I, I woke up this morning what? It's revelation right Last month, I made more money playing video games than any person who's ever sat down and fired or dumped me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. 100% fact. I lost more money in that time playing video games than anyone who's fired. No, that's not true. Yeah, I lost a bunch of money for two and a half years. It's true. You either chase your dream or you live someone else's. So there's a, check this stop right here. It's a, Bruce Lee is watching. It's graffiti that used to be here that's not here. That must have been here during the Ingress days. I almost want to just put it back. Yeah, that's what I was saying the other day. I was like, I we- I think we should petition to have someone draw back yeah. on there. Yeah, we need to, well, it looks like it was a stencil. So you can probably just order the stencil, spray it real quick, and then GTFO. Uh, Pokemon Go is only almost kind of worth getting <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not looking for a interaction at all. I know. I want to avoid it. However, I am kind of accepting the inevitable on camera. Ridiculous. <laughs> Technically, you. Uh, Pidgey. Sparrow. So, guys, I was hoping to actually like track down something big today, but we actually can't. And it's not really our fault. Like I was saying before, it seems like Niantic has disabled the tracking mechanic, probably because it's too much processing power. So. I blame Nintendo themselves because you know that they've got this company, Niantic, on a ridiculously tight release schedule and they'll probably breach their contract if they don't release it in certain countries when they were told to. And last I heard, Niantic is only about a 50 person company. So imagine so going. That's about a billion customers per employee. Yeah. To include all the double accounts. So. Oh yeah, the double. Yeah, I didn't even think about doubles. I ran into a double agent the other hey, let's let's grab the um, the church up there. There's a, there's a couple stops behind the church we can get. I absolutely ran into a double agent the other day. Yeah. This guy walks by me. He just goes, "Well, my red team is this, but man, this one blue one has." God that. damn it! I just go. Oh yeah, sneaky dicky. So against the spirit of the game. No, you know what's against the spirit of of the game? What? Spoofing. Oh, GPS spoofing? Yeah. yeah, big time. I heard that there's a ton of cheaters on Twitch right now. Yeah, I recorded one. Weedle. I definitely recorded it. Because, yeah. dude, if you can't sit there in a video game and fly around and magically shoot people while invincible, why can you teleport across America yeah. with GPS? I, I... Oh, I got a couple of things. Well, I got the Weedle, for sure. And Eevee as well. I told you, Weedle's always... I mean, Eevee's always pop in this parking lot. It's because they, they're trying to kill you. No, they're, they're getting a tampons from that Walgreens over there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what they're up to. <laughs> Wild Eevee. Tempo, 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 You know what? You look, honey, you look like you're hungry. Here you go. Have you noticed that grape, wait, what level are you? 
Have you noticed that great balls are lighter and harder to shoot than no. I swear they are. They seem to curve much more easily. You notice that Spiro is a cunt to hit? <laughs> He's not that bad. No, for some reason he is. You'll do the same throw that hits like 10 things and Spiro, it just goes like right over his ear and he's like, yep. He's got a small hitbox then. That's all Dude, that is. I'll fucking kick him in his hitbox. Tiny ass hitbox. All right, over this way, actually. I got her. Did you get her? Yeah, I got her. She was just a little guy for me. She was 338, which is now a little guy, I would say. Actually, let's take a look at our... What's the story with our EVs? What's the story with what? I said, what's the story with my EVs? I should take a look here real quick. No, not eggs. EVs. I've only got... Currently, oh, I can evolve an Eevee right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna name this one Sparky so we can get the Jolty on evolution because I still have a shit evolution of Jolty on. I'm not gonna, I don't want to, I don't want to say the name of the place yet. Yeah. Because, you know, it could be like people showing up by the moon. Yeah. Charmander Hotspot. Well, I know there's one in Somerville and it's, Alston. It's right next to my house. What? All right. Hot spot. Like, you see Charmander, you go there, that's where he is. And he should... Every time. Okay. There's actually a Pikachu in my neighbor's uh, front yard that pops for, like, two hours a day, it seems like. Oh, I named this thing Sparky, and I got a Flareon. Did you spell it wrong? No, I don't think so. Double check. No, I spelled it right. Did I have something else named Sparky? Because I heard that that fucks it up, too. Oh, uh, did they patch that out? Why would they patch that out? Aw. Aw. Maybe I just have two... That would be insane because I was five for five with it the other day. All right, we're gonna walk up this little hill up here. See, the Pokemonings isn't that bad around this area. This is where Sund after Sunderland gets off of work, he calls me every day and he's like, I'm hitting the, the center. You wanna come over to my house and hit the center? I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, Salem was amazing. It was lousy with drowsy. <laughs> with some kids in Salem were telling me that the Willows is the business. And I and I love yeah. the, I love the willows and I would. When are we going to the willows? Uh, Sunday? Do you want to go Sunday? I think so. We can record there on Sunday. So this reminds me of walking around this town when I was like in middle school, you know. Yeah. I haven't done this in years. I haven't actually looked like around. I was thinking that when I was in like Salem and stuff, reading plaques and things. It's like, man, I haven't like looked at my surroundings in over a decade. Oh, wrong way. This way. Yeah. This game uh, kind of fixed my sleeping schedule. I was going to bed at like six in the morning until this thing came out. We're doing both. Yeah. We're doing both. I think, you know what's going on? What? Is, uh, humidifier and humidifier. This, this Tauros, man. He is around, but not around. Oh, double up. Yep. That's why I came up here. For these two. This, let me see, what do we have here? The Olive, Olive Very Memorial. Actually, that statue's around back, I think. I'm not seeing it right here. Huh? I've already grabbed it, but there's this uh, statue over here. A memorial of Bridget and Marcello, or Marcello Oliveri. No, that's not it. That's a, that's a statue of Mary over there that you're looking at. No, I know this thing. It's big. It's somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. I missed it. It's probably on camera, and I don't even realize it. Oh, um, Nick, you were saying about the steps and stuff, but even though there's no steps, the, uh, the person or the Pokemon that's closest. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know that, but still, it's it's infuriating, huh? Okay, it's way it's way infuriating to try to track that shit. You want to go over to the water tower? Probably not. 
Well, there's a stop at the water tower. Actually, we can get the post office right now if you want. We can just come down here and get the post office. We got an egg. It's a Weedle and an egg. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of Weedle candy at least. Yeah. At the very least. We're actually getting closer to the Tauros. But it doesn't matter. I don't even have a Tauros on my list. The other day I was chasing a Rhinehorn. Is that what they are down here? I was chasing one down here with the glitch going on. And I couldn't get shit because of the glitch. No, no, the uh, the three-step thing. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, it's been broken since Thursday night. It's actually been kind of... What's today, Tuesday? Yeah. It's actually been like an obscene amount of time that they've left it down. And I guarantee you it's just because of server instability there. They're using that to, um, you know, to free up resources on the servers, yeah. for sure. This way. Do, do, do. Do, do. So there's a poke walk in Boston. I know. I'm not telling you. I'm telling them. <laughs> these people, these future people who are watching this, it's a poke. There's a poke walk in Boston on this coming Saturday at noon in the Commons, and currently it's got about 5,000 people that say they're going to it, and 14,000 people that are interested. So it's going to be a clusterfuck, and. Uh, I think it's actually going to be really hard to get there. I think it's really going to fuck up the city, actually. We'll see, though. <laughs> well, I was going to say, you know what happens at PAX. True. But you never know what will happen with this shit, because it's such a phenomenon. Weedle. Townies wandering around. Remember the first day that the game came out and you felt weird walking around playing? And yeah. The next day happened, you're like, nah, it's good. Yeah. Uh, a little story that I wanted to share with you, and I think I might have told this to you. I was walking down the street at about 3 a.m. And uh, I did mention this, this part to you, but I was like walking down the street talking to myself because I was testing like a stream uh, recording type of deal. Yeah. So I'm walking down the street talking to myself, and but they sneak up on me without even. Really? They're just sitting. Did right. you catch that fucker? Let's keep They're it away. Oh, yeah. All right, These fine. Guys are just sitting on a ledge in the dark at like 3 a.m. Yeah. Outside the gym, outside the fucking Helen Keller statue. Um, and so while walking by them, I just looked, and I was having some problems with the game. I looked down at them and I go, Is it working for you? Yeah. And they said, Yeah. And I just kept on walking. <laughs> like that was so amazing to me. <laughs> yeah. Is I didn't see what they were playing. Oh, yeah. you don't have to. I know, but it's just like that's that's the universe yeah. that we are in today. The, it, there's an unspoken thing that is spoken as well. You just if you phone see phone. a guy outside walking around that would never be outside, <laughs> you know what he's doing. Oh, I crashed. You even have to be at this I crashed. I'm gonna crash. I found if you crash and on this screen right here, and you just wait for the uh, the data thing to to go away, and then you leave. Nine times out of ten, you catch that Pokemon. Am I still recording? I think I, have, I think I have allowed an hour of recording with this uh, this app, and then it stops. It's still recording. Yeah, we should be able to pick up our. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, you know, we're outside. Some sacrifices have to be made. We could. That already is the sacrifice. I'm actually fine with it. I've been feeling much better lately. Oh. I've been sitting inside working, 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 editing, streaming, editing, streaming. And this came out and I stepped outside and went, you know what? I think I'm gonna take the rest of the summer off editing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I think I might be done with uh editing for the rest of the summer. 
you know, let's just walk back through the parking lot, see if we can catch another EV so we can avoid most of that. I got it. The stop? Oh yeah, I got him. That's actually the William something over there, right? The Berica Captain William home. Are they all getting it too? I, I met a kid. See, they're all trying to do that over there, right? But I guarantee you, one of them has his phone out and they're trying to make sure they get the focus stop. I met a guy who's in, he, he's like a level 25 now, who lives in the building next to that stop named Bill. So now he is Captain Bill of Pokemon. And we keep, we see him like all the time over here. Yep. I've actually met two guys that live around here. Some kid named Brad and some, that guy Bill. That I've never, that I would have never met before in my life. Yeah. See, look, we got... Jen, Jen does not live in my town. She lives like two or three towns over in Turkey or some shit like that. So she came to Tuxbury for... She was hunting spots. Yeah. And she's pulled over, saw me walking, and she's like, can I walk with you? Yeah. She didn't, I didn't, she didn't know I was playing, I mean, she knew I was playing Pokemon. It's not like I said, hey, I'm playing Pokemon. Yeah. I'm playing Pokemon. No one asked what yeah. I'm playing. It's just, can I walk with you? Oh, I know. The next place I want to record for sure is Wakefield Center uh, the, at, at the, the lake. The lake it is the business. It is the best place I've been to. Huh? What is that ahead? Evie, dead ahead. Right? Evie's, man. She hasn't popped for me yet. There she is. I watched is. a really funny stream last night, a Korean stream, and they were, they were playing this. <laughs> it was amazing. I thought it wasn't out in Asian countries yet. I think it just came out in Korea okay. maybe today or something, or well, last night. So these guys, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a couple. And they're walking around a temple. They're walking around a temple in Korea. Oh, that there's sounds monks, awesome. There's monks and there's people yeah. just trying there to enjoy their time at the temple. And they're ruining it? There's shit everywhere. Uh, what do you mean? Like, like they're throwing stuff? No, no. There's oh, stops, okay. There's stops everywhere. I was going to say, they're fucking... Covered. The temple is covered. Oh, dude, look how light the Ultra Balls are. It's like ridiculous. Oh, that oh, one shit. went through. That one went through. Um, so, so the temple is just covered with stops. Yeah. And every time... These guys had a pretty big following already, so every time they get a... Every time they'd get a donation, yeah, they would do not like a, band, a dance that would get you banned from Twitch, <laughs> but definitely not the kind of dance you should be doing at a respectful temple full of monks. Some gyrating? Yeah, yeah. So they'd get a donation, and they'd do, they'd do their dance, and then they would run away. Look, whoever did the dance would run away from the camera and all the people and go yeah. hide in the corner and put their heads down and <laughs> after. And then like he would walk up to her, and he's like, Oh, you do a poker girl dance? You do a poker bar dance? <laughs> oh, no. And she's, like, she's like, I bring much shame. Oh, God. They were, dude, they were so adorable. <laughs> they were like the funniest couple. I bring, I bring much shame. Paris. EXBC. Paris, Pop. The EXBC, I believe, was the stream name of those who want to watch this kind of time. Okay. They were, they were just an adorable couple. Okay. This is an... Orange Paris for me. Orange Ring Paris. It's only 283. How ridiculous is that that it's orange ring? For me? Oops. No, gotta do some fucking game balancing, which they won't even think about until they get server balancing under control. But somebody found the code and they completely ripped it apart. So, like, we know all the mechanics now. And they know the Pokemons aren't even available. Yeah, they know certain Pokemons aren't even available yet. But the thing that I did find interesting, which we assumed, is that if you get a nice, a great, or an excellent, it does give you a capture multiplier. So, so hitting the center of that circle doesn't just give you XP bonus. It also gives you, uh, it gives you a catch, catch increase. Let's go to the one memorial over here that's not colonial, because, I mean, our t this town... Doreka, this is a pre, this is a pre-revolutionary town. So I mean, the <laughs> so the, the the majority of things that you're going to run into in this town in terms of Pokestops are going to be, uh, you know, something that was colonial days. But we do have one thing over here from the '70s that I think is pretty interesting. Dude, that's the license plate right there, dude. What? On your right, down. <laughs> that's the plate. Cool, man. That's like Saul Good, man. Saul Good, man. Yeah. I don't know, man. 
mean, come on. I'm walking around with a camera strapped to my chest, a microphone in my backpack, and catching Pokemon. I'm not going to pass judgment on anybody right now. <laughs> I got to tell you. We actually do. The, do you remember that couch that was in my basement? It was like that one that Hoden gave me. Oh, kind of. And so um, they they were stuffing more and more shit down there because of the bands. But now they've moved out. But they, I basically got pushed into this itty bitty tiny corner. So we took an axe and we just because we couldn't get it out. So I, I just took an axe and I hacked apart the couch. And now. And now underneath, oh, he despawned for me. I saw him and then he disappeared. We hacked apart the couch and it's just been under the, um, oh, I'm not looking at that. There's a, what do you call it behind me? Playground, no, no, no. Camera, no. <laughs> well, you know what we can also do? We can take back the gym in front of Ryan's house. There's a gym on Ryan's house. Can do that real quick. I can pour some hot diarrhea on top of it, and then we can get out of here. Watch out! Oh yeah, I see it. Every time, every time you see a car move, that's what you get to see. They might be playing Pokemon. It used to be that guy could be drunk. <laughs> now it's. Me and Krista almost got hit by some guy riding down the fucking street getting Pokey stuff in the graveyard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we see those poke swerves. <laughs> I wish I had a wireless mic for you that I could cuz this this uh I'm probably going to sound like shit. This thing well this actually has pretty good microphone, but I don't really want to use the GoPro's mic that much. Yeah. Um, I'll have to do some audio mixing. Um, let's go over to this guy real quick. I was going to say this is like the one non-colonial uh, memorial in Bilrica. Oh yeah, For, I was, well I was thinking about just doing the Freedom Trail tour. Oh, 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 that's what I say, that's what I say when there's an egg. Oh, Pidgey, <laughs> Pidgey egg. He's 283. Oh, oh, that's another one though. I was hatching a bunch of my twos, trying to get starters because, oh a horsey. That was a two click that Pidgey? What do you mean? Two clicks, yeah. That's a good two-click egg, dude. Like a really good two-click Oh, egg. oh, all of mine hatched. I had I had three two kilometers in there right, right then. Oh <laughs> Rattata with garbage. I got three eggs that weren't. I'm at nine out of nine. I've got you know what? Eggs. I think I might be able to evolve that horsey. Just to do something interesting on camera here. I server crash when I had an evolved fucking horsey on my screen the other night. Horsey. Nope, I am eight Would candy away. Like all right, anyway, back to what I was actually going to do. So, like I said, everything around here is colonial, but this here was put up in 2001. This is, come on, load the Berica Korean War Memorial. Do, do, do. It's actually pretty nice looking. Forgotten, remembered always. Are these the only men that we had that died in Korea? It was, it was a short, actually no, that was like a, that was like a three year conflict, wasn't it? Oh yeah, 1950 to 1953. Donald M. Carmichael, Wallace Ritter, Albert Valancourt, Farthing, Bruyette. I know some Bruyettes and Selfridge. That's all the men that we had die in the Korean War. That's oh, very from, from Bill Rick, I mean. yeah, from Berica. I mean, that's pretty small, but still. Did, well, did this war have a draft? Um, this was right after World War. Oh shit, is this right before Vietnam? Oh yeah, 50 to 53. So that's what. Um, so that's right after World War II. More or less. Yeah, there wasn't much time in between. 
Well, thanks for the Pokeballs, boys. Indeed, indeed. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. Because <laughs> we'll, I come here all the time for this. This is what they fought for. These <laughs> ah, that's get, fucked get up. Them. Get them right here. Oh, I, I am. This specifically. Just the fact that human beings can walk around looking down at their phone. Yeah, it's true. And, 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 but, and I mean, if, if you're really going to talk about the Korean War, I mean, that's still something that's going on to this day really because there's there's yeah. there, actually the war is technically not over even though it says this there's just been a ceasefire since 1953 and south korea and north korea are divided by that uh what's it called the demilitarized zone and north korea is pretty much one of i don't actually know that much about the war but i actually know a lot about post-war north korea i've read a shitload of books yeah. if you want to know about how fucked up north korean life is you should read this book called um uh, no <laughs> not the interview Nothing to Envy, The Lives of Ordinary Koreans, and North Koreans, and it talks about their lives during the famine of the 1990s, where, interesting statistic, they hunted frogs to extinction in the woods because that was the meat that they could get at that point. They hunted frogs to extinction. Yep. Certain frogs to extinction. And then across the street we have the Sabbath Day House. I don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about the Sabbath Day House. I assume that's like one of the first churches or something like that, first meeting houses of this area. And now let's walk to the, back to the library and conclude this adventure. What do you say? Well, I'm almost running out of uh, recording time and you have to be back in like a little bit. <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Um, also, I didn't really want to record this yesterday because it was 94 degrees or something like that and then it poured. So this is a much better day. Dude, it's like 83 I today. Yeah. Twilight? Yeah, yeah sure. It's better for uh, cameras though. You know, yeah, yeah, it's better for this still. guy. Because low light is just garbage. Yeah. How you doing? Alright. Nope. I believe he was scratch ticketing. Well, I spent I spent twenty bucks on this game and I feel like that's appropriate. You'll spend twenty more. Yeah, when I get the wrist bracelet thing. Do you hear that? So George? Is it George fucking trumpeting out his truck? Right well, there? that's his house over there. <laughs> it is! George, George Similaris. That, that man right there was an elected official. Yep, actually, now, actually he's, he's running for state rep now. His <laughs> fellow named uh, George, he's a local eccentric uh, who does such things as drive by while trumpeting. Mm -hmm. Drive by trumpeting. Yep. yep. As soon as I heard that trumpet, I knew right away. Is that George? He's a strange fellow. The other day I was playing, he, he owns a painting business in town. The other day I was walking across a crosswalk playing this game, and he stopped to yell at me, I painted that crosswalk! And then he drove off. I already got the Pidgey. I got, I got the Pidgey whilst walking. I painted that crosswalk in 2008! Okay, George. Thanks, bro. You, you're, you're an asset. To the town. In 2008. Yeah. Bye, George. Rattata. A Rattata. Dude, when I get home, I'm going to get so much XP. I've just been saving everything. I haven't transferred everything. Anything, because it's all, it's all garbage. I actually, um... It's going to get evolved for XP. On Saturday night, I filled my Poke bag. Not the items, the Pokemon. And I was like, okay, I guess it's time to evolve everything, huh? Too bad there's not a card shop there anymore, huh? Oh, yeah. We used to be making all the money in the universe. We used to have an awesome card shop over there. I used to buy my magic cards there during the two different runs that I played magic back when I was like 10 and then in my late teens. And then some like hobby train guy moved in there, but it was called like the hobby store or something, wasn't it? Weedles. Yeah, I see the Weedles. It was called like the hobby store, and like, oh, it's a hobby store, so you're gonna have magic cards, right? And he's like, no, just trains. <laughs> and, uh, well, that establishment is no longer there, so I guess just trains didn't really work out for him. Just trains. 
Facebook. It's my hobby. <laughs> yeah. It's my store. He's just going to sell his hobby. That's it. You know, there wasn't like any model airplanes or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic or whatever the shit. You know, he wasn't carrying uh, Warhammer. Just trains. Yeah, that'll that'll survive here in, in 2000 whatever. I, I get if it was like 1950 and that was like the major hobby, hobbyist hobby. But no. All right, double weedles acquired. We got a spot behind us that's open. Spot behind us? Stop? Yeah, No, it's over here. Look at that. I, I would be looking, but I haven't stuck on that's, the street. That's the corner right there, so it's right across the street there. It is It is the, the Thaddeus Brown house. It's this yellow house that's directly in front of us. I don't know anything about Thaddeus Brown. He was, he was post-revolution, though. It's 1838. Oh, yeah. That is how you move things. Somebody dropped a lure in Walgreens oh, at the Center Cafe. Do you see that? That's funny. They're probably sitting inside of uh, the pizza shop there. Oh wait, no, that's that's at Bruce Lee. That's who dropped it. Do you want to go beat up the first congressional church? Uh, what church? Yeah. 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 It's across the street. I think we might be able to get some headway there. Yeah, time to cross. Yeah, forget him. Sure. My bags are all right, though, so I don't care. Wait, are you going to chill at it? All right. What, are you low on poke, pokes? Always. I, I sit at home and I play without going anywhere. Especially when I'm yeah. I'm not going to lie. I do cheat at poke stops. At, we'll, t we'll take like a, a quick ride, like a 20 minute ride at midnight, and somebody will drive and then I'll double fist phones. And then we just drive by stops and load up for the next day. That does happen. Technically, I would say it's also against the spirit of the game, but not that bad. Oh yeah, dude. It doesn't matter what town you're in. It will happen. Not looking, bro. Alright, so. I think maybe we can put a herding on the Sabbath Day house over here. Or not the Sabbath Day house. The First Congressional Church. For you. What do you say? Team, team, Mystic. team Mystic. At first I thought he said penises. <laughs> right? I don't think I could have taken this one without you. Actually, I'm positive because all these water types are too much for me. All right, now if you look at it, They've got the vapor. Oh, it's still three. We didn't knock it down far enough. All right, I guess we're not doing it today because you don't have time. You have to bring it down a certain prestige level. You got to take prestige points away from it. By just beating it that hard. Yeah, by beating the shit out of it over and over and over again. You got some XP for that shit, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm glad you can actually get XP by 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, it's good stuff. No. You can sit down and kick the shit out of something. All right. Let's fucking do this. Yeah, let's get out of here. I've heard a rumor that you can, uh, that if you stick around gyms long enough, that fighting types will show up. I feel like it's probably a lie, but that would be neat. It would also make sense, right? <sighs> know what I'm saying? I've actually found a couple mankeys around here too. Over in that parking lot. <laughs> yeah, definitely. One last rattata for the road. And back to library parking where we began. Caught what? Oh man, that's my first one. This is the first time I've gotten one. I'm in. He'll still be here. He's 598. Yeah. I, I fed him and then threw a good an ultra ball in his face. Yeah, that's a good way to end the episode. All right, guys. Well. Okay. So anyway, the idea of this series is that we're going to go, or at least I'm going to go, around to some historical places in Massachusetts and talk about some of the, uh, the landmarks while we catch Pokemon and try to kick the shit out of little kids' gyms. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, my next, my, my ideas for the series so far are going to be Lexington, Salem, and Boston. And uh, this is just one of our hometown areas. And uh, we just wanted to prototype here. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see some more stuff in the future. Uh, my name is Nick, and this was uh, the inaugural, inaugural, inaug inaugural, inaugural episode of, uh, anagurial. Anagurial episode of uh, Poke Across America. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one, okay? I'm still trying to catch this. Oh, you're still, okay, all right. I'm Barry number three. And great balls. Yeah, I can't get them.